And here it is, guys, the RX480 from AMD. This card has been highly anticipated. Everyone's super excited about it. It's out now, and we're going to be giving you the overview, showing you how it performs in games and about all its overclocking features. So this is the eight gigabyte reference design first edition that we've got here. We're so excited to show you this, and we're very lucky that we've got in here fast whilst it's just come out. However, over the next few weeks, there will be some new ones coming out, some custom cooled options, some four gigabyte ones, so keep your eyes peeled for those as well. So what is so special about this card? card. Well, if you guys have been following AMD, you'll know that this is the first card to bring VR to people at an affordable price. At a fraction of the cost, this is a huge deal for the VR market. It also runs much cooler and more efficient than previous generation cards, and it's all powered by this one six pin socket. As always guys, we don't like to bore you, we just want to cut to the chase, so we're going to put it into our test bench and show you it's in action. Since it's all been redesigned, the outputs are slightly different. You now have three display ports and one HDMI port. Just put one of the display ports in now for you, like that. And we've benchmarked the card against the competition with the following games. And here are the results. Here is the Radian software that we're going to use to overclock the card. To get to your overclocking menu, first click on the gaming tab and then go to global settings. This way it will affect all of your games. And then click on global Wattman, which was formerly known as the AMD Overdrive. And then you will have your visual play area. Here at the top, you've got the GPU monitor. Then going down, you have the clock and memory settings. And then at the bottom, you can adjust the temperature and the fan. Oh, actually guys, before you do anything, you should do a benchmark and figure out what your baseline score will be. Once you've done that, then go to the temperature icon and increase your power limit. Once you've adjusted it though, do make sure that you do another benchmark. Just check that it's not gonna crash and it's at the right level. After your card is stable, then head back up to your GPU monitor and adjust the frequency slider very, very gradually until you hit a level that you think will run stably. Click apply, run another benchmark, and then repeat with the memory clock. These are just the basics, guys. There are actually loads more advanced settings for you to play around with, but we just wanted to show you how to get started with the overclocking. And hopefully you'll get a lot more performance out of your card without having to spend any extra cash. And just from these basic steps here, guys, here are the results that we had from before and after overclocking this card. Within the Radian software, there's also controls for the AMD FreeSync. If you have a compatible monitor, you can make it match the refresh rate of the output in your card. Also in the software is frame rate target control where you can set the FPS to uh, your desire. If you've got a limit maybe on what your monitor can do, you can set it to match that and therefore you will limit your energy consumption and it will be more eco-friendly to the planet. So that about wraps things up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as ever. We really hope that you found this video helpful and we've been so excited to show you this card. If you do get your hands on one, please could you let us know what kind of performance you get out of it. You can either tweet us or send us a chat on Instagram and we'd love to hear back from you. I will see you next time. Bye. Right. What time does my train leave?